Hey guys, Survival Bomb here, and I've got a great video for you with lots of beginner tips and tricks that I wish I had known my first playthrough of No Man's Sky. Stay with me, and I will teach you what you need to know. If you enjoy this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more great No Man's Sky content. First things first. Uh, for newbies, a lot of y'all know this already, but uh, when you're traveling early on, uh, speed is a thing, especially because you're worried about resources. So you're going to be running and you're going to be jetpacking, uh, but you also want to learn how to do the punch jump, which is the melee and, uh, and then your thrusters right after that. But be careful that you don't run out of gas on a hill because you will not make the soft landing out just like that did that on purpose all right next tip is carry a nutrient processor for extra storage so i've got a nutrient processor in my inventory can slap it down anywhere i want and it's going to provide me extra storage not only can i cook in it but i can access ingredient storage and i've got 25 slots i can put carbon chromatic metal it tells you everything you can put in here but I can keep all this stuff in here and free up my inventory. This is a big deal on survival and permadeath where resources are an issue, or resource space I should say. And it also helps early game too. So you can carry around all your food in here, and uh, if you have more than one it's going to be just like the other vaults where the same thing is in every one. You can get the nutrient processor and the anomaly with 10 salvage data, or you can go on a nexus mission that requires you to feed animals and you'll get a nutrient processor for free if you haven't learned it yet. Hey little buddy, what's up? Got $109,000 for scanning that guy. I don't know about you, but I like $109,000. Yes. Alright, next tip is on the multi-tool early game. Upgrading your scanner will give you a ton of money. So this one right here, this one S-Class, this one gives me 7,700% more on flora and 6,700% more on fauna uh, scanning. So I've had, you can get, you can stack these as well. I've heard of people that can get fifty dollars to $150,000 from scanning one thing. So uh, yeah, early game, want to get some money? Uh, upgrade that. Works pretty good. Oh, and you can have three multi-tools, by the way. Most people have a setup for hunting uh, or fighting, a setup for scanning and mining. So, yeah, set up a couple different ones. See what you like. All right, next tip is on terrain manipulators. These, these things are great, but are you digging your holes correctly? Are they too big? Are they too small? Let's take a look. All right, so you can increase or decrease the size of your ball. The bigger the ball, the actually the less resources you get. Uh, the smaller the ball, the more resources you get. The other thing is, you can charge your terrain manipulator with silica powder, which is what you get while you're doing it. That's awesome. All right, a couple tips on hazardous floor. One, they suck. Two, it really doesn't hurt. It scares you more than anything else. But if you get close enough, you can actually grab the oxygen out of them without it hurting you. And uh, you can still shoot them and get a little bit more oxygen out of them. Now. Um, I hate these guys with a burning passion, so the quickest way I've found to get rid of these if you're not worried about resources is hit them right at the base with a terrain manipulator. One shot, bam, they're gone. Pretty sweet, huh? Screw those guys. Gotta hit them right at the base. You can't hit the plant itself, you gotta hit it right below it. Now these plants, the poppy ones, You can actually grab three oxygen pods off of them and get 119 oxygen. And then if you go ahead and shoot them with your uh, mining laser, you're gonna get a little bit more oxygen from them too. So best source of oxygen is those, those poppy plants that are really annoying. Uh, I call them, you know, they pop. That's why I call them that. All right, so another tip is um, when you fall and you take damage, ow, see those little white pluses? Uh, they don't regenerate on their own. The only way to regenerate them is to go here and get one of these, it tells me my suit's at maximum, or to uh, use an aid station that you build or find in somewhere else. So yeah, you'll see your shields go back up, and once they do, the little white pluses will go away, but they will not regenerate on their own. 
Another thing that's helpful early game is I hold down the E button on PC or whatever it is the button that you grab stuff with while I'm running. Uh, it makes me pick up stuff quicker without having to stop because I can usually get my pointer on it as I'm starting to get close to it and then by the time I've reached it, yeah, I got it. Berry Technology. So Berry Technology is a great source, obviously, for uh, salvage data, uh, which is going to get you blueprints, but look at what they're worth. It's worth 50,000 units a piece, so this stack right here of 15 is worth 750,000. So early game, if I'm just trying to get to the anomaly for the first time, um, I got two of these, it's worth 100 grand. That's big, that's real big. The other thing you can do with uh, salvage data is you can put it in the refiner and it's going to give you nanite clusters. So you're gonna get 30 nanite cluster. I think you get 15 per, right? Let's see what we get. Yeah, 15 per, totally not worth it. I'd much rather sell it, but if you're in a pinch and you need a few nanites, just to top you off to get you to where you can buy that nice S-Class module instead of these crappy C ones, uh, you might consider doing that, right? All right, next tip is photo mode. Photo mode is great, not only for pictures, but it stops time so nothing can hurt you and you can look around. So early game, if you're looking for resources and you can't find any, see I can see that sodium over there because the sun's going down, but uh, I can move the sun and I just look down at the planet, move the sun, now the sun's there, it's nighttime uh, for photo mode anyway, and I can easily see the stuff that lights up. Now you can do all kinds of different stuff in photo mode as well, but it stops time, so it stops you from taking damage, and it allows you to find resources by moving the sun around and uh, take some cool selfies. All right, next tip is for building supplies. See these little rock patches right here? These are perfect for uh, shooting with the scatter blaster in your ship. All right, so basically what you're gonna do is fly low with your ship over these patches of rocks and hit them with your positron ejector. Uh, try not to smash into the ground. It's not a big deal if you do, really. But uh, yeah, you should get a ton of ferrite dust and other materials that you shoot as you do this. I can get about half a stack in just a minute, a couple minutes, and I'll have a full stack. You'll get ferrite dust, pure ferrite. You'll get a ton of geodes and uh, lots of other good stuff. All right, there's lots of great upgrades you can get, but to me, the most important thing I always go through first is I get my shields and I get my uh, movement modules. You can get three S-Class modules and put them in technology or general. You can't put them in cargo, but you can put them here. And then anything that you can craft because you know the recipe, you can put in there as well. So I got the jetpack and then the neural stimulator, which I learned in the anomaly, so I can have all of these together. You have the adjacency bonus, which is indicated by the color next to them, but you can also get three more over here. That's what I worry about first, movement modules and shields so I can get around fast and not die when I fall and break my legs, right? Right? Right. You do it too, don't lie. These next couple tips are gonna be in this menu. First off, as soon as you get to a system, if you wanna name it, uh, you better go ahead and name it because you only get one shot at it. If somebody shows up behind you, uh, then, you know, it's too late. And if you upload it, then you don't get to get it either. So you only got one shot. How do you spell this? P-L-A-N-E-T, Miles Big Planet. There we go. Uh, except, bam, it is saved. Now it would be Bob's Big Planet forever. Now, um, the other thing is uh, you want to upload if everything to get nanites. We love nanites on PC. I'm gonna hit F to upload everything, and I just got 255 nanites for all my discoveries so far. Uh, now, if I wanna come back in and change a, a name now, see, it's grayed out, I can't do it. It's too late, I already did it. The other thing is, uh, get in the habit of jumping in your ship and then jumping back out as, before you leave a planet if you've been doing stuff on there, just to create an autosave. Because jumping in doesn't do anything for you, it's jumping out that, uh, that creates the autosave. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and these tips were helpful to you, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more, make sure you got the notification bell hit as well, and let me know down in the comments below what were the best tips that you learned or that you wish you knew. I've got about 20 or 30 more of these written down, I just haven't gotten to them in a video yet. If you'd like to see another video with some more tips in it, let me know. And uh, guys, remember, if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And, uh, uh, you know, if, if you're going to mess up like Bob does, you know, um, learn some tips, help some people out. It's good to do. 
Guys, we'll see you next time. Take care.